So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add pictures into your spread. So we just learned how to use the type tool. Now let's go ahead and use the rectangle frame tool. It's going to look like this. It has a little X in it. And what you're going to do is just click on it. And same thing with the type tool. You're going to click and drag. This is going to be how big your frame is. If you go into your selection tool, you can actually click the corners of this box to make it bigger and smaller. Usually when we're working with text frames, we want them to be the size of the columns we're working with. Okay. Um, of course, you can go crazy and do whatever you want to. Um, you can make it one column, two columns, three columns. You can make it any size you want. Um, you might have a photo that goes across the entire spread like this and bleeds off the page. You know, look at different designs, see what you like, see what you not like. Take a look at the magazines from previous semesters. That will give you a really good idea on what you want to do as far as pictures in your spread. So next, how to add pictures into here. Fairly easy. We go to File and Place. Unfortunately, in InDesign, you can't just copy and paste images into InDesign. Um, we need to go ahead and follow uh, the correct way to do this. So we're going to go to File and Place, and clicking on Place right here, a new window should pop up, and it's going to show us things like our desktop documents and downloads. Now I'll go ahead and click on my desktop and just pick a random image that I have on there. And I'm going to click on this doggo image. This is an image I found online from Austin Pets Alive, and it showcases um, if you guys didn't know, the mascot for the Austin FC soccer team um, currently is the uh, dogs from APA. So their whole mascot is to adopt dogs from APA. Kind of different, kind of interesting. What you'll notice is when I put this image into the frame, the frame is actually bigger than the image itself. The image is a little more vertical and square, and our frame is more horizontal. So how do we make this work? Well, perhaps you could do a couple different things. If you want to make your frame fit the photo more, you can do that. And then you would click on this little circle when it comes up. If you hover over the frame itself, you'll see this. When you see these orange lines, this is your actual photo, okay? So keep in mind, you have two different elements here. The frame, which is these blue lines, and then hovering and clicking on this, you are gonna get your orange photo. So you can move around the photo within the frame, like this. I don't recommend that though. I recommend just moving the frame around to where you want, okay? With the photo itself, if you wanna get this perfect, you see there's actually like a little bit of a sliver right there. Let's say we wanna get the photo perfectly in this size frame. We're gonna right click and go to fitting. And we want to fill our frame proportionally. We're always gonna to wanna to fill it proportionally, okay? We do not want to stretch the photo like this. We do not want to make it too vertical like that, okay? We want our photo to come in the way that it's supposed to be. We shouldn't be manipulating photos at all. So we right click, fit, fitting, fill frame proportionally. Now again, you see the photo is a little more vertical than the frame we have it in. Now that's completely up to you if you wanna crop the photo to make it fit so that we're showcasing the dog more. Great, I'm gonna move it slightly up so that we really are just looking at this dog. And now we have a photo in our spread. So a little bit about the photos, okay? With our photos, we're gonna want them to fit in certain spaces. So I want my photo to be right here. It's underneath the headline and subhead, but it's also kinda next to, or sorry, it's, it's within the um, body copy text, okay? Now let's say that I want some body co copy text to be above the photo and some to be below it. How can I get it so that my text can wrap around this photo? What a great question. We're gonna use text wrap, okay? If we go to window and click on our panels and we're gonna click on text wrap, this little box will open up. I'm gonna click and drag this over into my right-hand side panel. With my photo selected, so make sure you can actually have the photo selected, click on text wrap. It's gonna give you a couple different options for text wrap. Um, this one means text will wrap around the photo like that. What do these mean right here? This means that um, 
the text wrap that is around the photo at the moment, you might want to make the space between um, where the text wrap is and text to be a little bit bigger. So now you can kind of get this idea that this text wrap is getting bigger and bigger. Now you can of course unlink it so that maybe you just want the top and bottom to have text wrap around them. So I'm gonna change that slightly. And maybe the sides of the photos, you don't want text wrap on the sides of the photos. So there you go. You would have text wrap around your photo. Let's take a look at what this looks like so far. So this is what our spread would look like. Again, we can see all of our text moved into these different columns, right? Before text drop, text was un behind the photo, okay? And now we had text move. And again, we're gonna thread our text. I'm gonna put it into another column right here. So that way our text can move across the spread, all right? And that is how you would place photos. You can, of course, um, Click and hold down to get different shapes. For example, if you wanted to have a circle, whoops, let me go ahead and get a circle on here. I'm gonna click and make my circle. And let's go ahead, file and place a photo into that. Let's see here. I have a photo of me in a sunflower field. We'll use that photo. I'm gonna do fitting, fill frame proportionally, perfect. Now let's say I want to put text wrap on this photo as well. We're just gonna to go to text wrap, wrap it around. Now, unfortunately with the circles, you're gonna see text go around like this. I don't want that, that doesn't look good. So let's go ahead and make it wrap around the object shape, okay? Oh, now it's gonna load and sit there for a while. Don't do that. There we go, there we go, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so I just did text wrap and I wrapped it just around the object shape. So that's why with circles, they're a little weirder. You're gonna want to actually wrap your text around the photo itself to get it to be circular and go around um, the frame, okay? And you should be able to do the same thing where you get it so it can be a little bit bigger. So there we go. And that is what that would look like, okay?